What is up guys, it is Duke and we are here with your first look at the level 10 battle machine here. Your first look at the level 10 battle machine which was just announced by Supercell with the Builders Hall level 6 new upgrade here. So previously from your Builders Hall level 5 you were only able to upgrade the battle machine to level 5. That was it. 1 through 5 was available at Builders Hall level 5. Now at Builders Hall level 6 you're going to have 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 available for upgrade here. So as you can see level 10 pretty strong here. He's a little bit more armored up, a little bit more suited up here but the uh, the defenses are very strong, very tough, so on his own, he is up against a, a battle here in the battle machine. So we're going to go through, we're going to check out some of his uh, attacks here with Solo, and then we're going to jump into one with some Night Witches involved. So as you can see, he is a really a giant-sized tank who swings a mighty hammer, kind of like Thor here. Especially if you're going to be playing him with the Night Witches. You want him in the front. You want him to take the beating, especially from that uh, multi-mortar here. You want the multi-mortar to focus right in on him to allow the Night Witches to spawn up their bats and to stay alive. The longer they stay alive, of course, the more bats they will spawn. And you want to keep him keep him in check with his ability. He's going to pop the ability, which gives him a little bit more strength. This health does revive a bit more. And he's able to just go through and kind of rage up and get in there and get after some of these defenses. So the quicker you can get him in there and take out defenses like the multi-mortar or that roaster, as you can see, which is doing a ton of damage on him, the better. We got double cannons in there and he's doing a great job taking out that builder's hall but I think the main the main thing for a level 10 battle machine is really just be him being used as a shield for the rest of your troops so really get a feel for where you want to put him where you want the defenses focusing on and also being a distraction for the rest of your troops whether it is your baby dragons from archer towers whether it's the multi-mortar coming in and saving your night witches here this guy is just an absolute tank now he's a level 10 so you kind of equate that to a level 10 barbarian king so it's not like he is immensely overpowering he still is a little bit on the weaker side though he is strong he will take a lot of heat but as you can see he does uh, take that damage and get wrecked up pretty easily especially against these level 6 defenses here so once they're going once you get that double cannon up to level 6 the crusher comes through and you have two double cannons on him he's not going to survive the entire time so it's not like you're just going to be able to uh, you know just drop him down and pray that he goes through the whole entire map here he is still going to struggle with these higher end defenses so if you do come up against a base that is rushed he is going to be able to go through and take a good amount of them out but like I said level 10 very strong but is kind of evenly matched up here against the level 6 defenses he is a fun hero to use though as you can see once he uh, pops that ability and brings down that lightning from above he will collect a good rage he will go through as you can see it's a pretty cool graphic uh, he's got that fired up hammer that he's swinging that big giant mallet the club if you will he'll go through and he will create a nice funnel as you can see these uh, night witches are spawning up their bats and are coming through and they will just sawzall right through the majority of the outside of the base here you really want to focus on where you're going to be funneling in from, where you're going to attack from. But like I said, the, the main focus that you really want to do is distract. Distract the multi-mortar, distract those defenses. He will stay alive a bit longer than your level 5 king. We do not have all the uh, the HP notes on the, the battle machine here. But as you can see, he is strong. But with especially with these defenses clumped up into one little area, like I said, we got the uh, the archer tower, archer tower, 
You got the double cannon there and a regular cannon. So there's four defenses keying in on him. So you're able to see that he was going to go through and take a good amount of heat, but eventually he will go down. But the level 10 battle machine is a very strong piece of equipment here. So that is one thing you do want to focus on. You want to get this battle machine up to level 10, unlock that level 10 ability as it jumps up in skill level, and you'll be able to go through and do a better job in pushing up in your cups, enabling you to get more gold and more elixir from your daily loot bonuses being able to go ahead and upgrade your village and upgrade your builder's base to a substantial uh, amount and you'll be able to go through and you'll be able to create havoc for your opponent and just like he rains down the lightning on top of his defense so as you can see crusher coming down takes him out so uh, level 10 Battle Machine, a very strong troop, a very strong hero, but like I said, he's not going to be like a level 40 Barbarian King, so uh, that will come in time. We'll see over the next couple updates where it goes up to, but for right now, level 10 Battle Machine is where it is going to be capped at. Make sure you guys are tuning in here to the channel. We're going to see what's coming up in the next couple weeks, the next couple updates here. Make sure you're subscribed and we will catch you guys later.